Hey yo, welcome back everyone to Uncle Karius. I'm doing a late night episode. Let's see that worm shoot out of my shield through the wall. Great shield. Shout out Juice. But uh, we are back here, Uncle Karius. I did do a live stream somewhat recently for the uh, fishing playthrough that is. And I got a couple weapons. I think I did that during the live stream. I'm pretty sure I did. But uh, the live stream will be on YouTube eventually if it isn't already. But I got the Robocod. That's what it does, and I got the Larpoon. Actually, let me just shoot this out. That's not the Larpoon. Let me shoot this out. It'd probably be smart if I try and hit him with the Larpoon itself, too, on top of the lasers. But these are the type of weapons I've been looking for. Not those weak-ass vanilla weapons and the weak-ass calamity weapons. I've been looking for these. Things that do damage. Shout out to the Juice mod. Juice can't go wrong, except for when he does. But it's rare. And he fixes it if he does. Alright, but yeah. Let's, uh, real quick. Might as well make some quick cash. You know, it's a nice little painting I got right here. Let me sell that. Uh, it wasn't that much cash. It wasn't that worth it. But yeah, we're gonna try and make some progress on top of hopefully getting some new weapons slash armor. And when I say weapons, I mean up, up, upgrade. I can't be screaming. F uh, fishing hook upgrade. We're making the forbidden. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't know why I'm so close. I uh, will make it out of adamantite since we have a lot. I didn't even kill a sandstorm thing. I just kind of crafted it from the uh, hard mode tokens. Shout out IMK Sushi. I've been rocking with that mod since way back. A lot of people are probably mad. They probably watch me see me hit K to pull up. That's why I have my cheat sheet uh, binded to. See me hit K. And people are like, ew, cheat sheet. I got a comment like that like last week. It, was, it just said, ew, cheat sheet or some shit like that. But I, I've been rocking with cheat sheets since back in the day, alright? I've been, it's, it was the only like recipe browser, recipe mod out. I think maybe recipe browser by itself was out too. But I saw cheat sheet, it was the first one I saw, and I was like, yeah, fuck it, might as well. I need something so I could look at recipes. And cheat sheet has been there. Same thing with IMK Sushi, it's been there since way back. You know, it's been there since way back, Tremor, but we don't talk about that no more. Uh, that's why I use cheat sheet. There you go. Lesson learned. So don't be annoyed if I use cheat sheets. It's not like I'm going into here and I'm like, oh, give me a silver ore. Let me just get a little bit of that. Oh, we need some demonite. Spawn it in. It's not like I'm doing that. You see me playing the game. You see my live streams. You see me grinding shit out. But yeah, let's reforge this forbidden battle rod. Uh, its special ability is sand nados. I don't actually know its special ability, but it says something about sand nados. So I expect sand nados. This costs a lot of gold to reforge. I mean, I'm balling a little bit. Not that much. It's like IRL. I got them. I got money, but not that much. Don't want to be spending it all. But look, I also made this during the uh, live stream because I'm trying to make use of these special baits. Now, I don't know how these work exactly, if they go away when you use them or what. But we're going to learn. We're going to learn slowly what happens. It's not like they're too hard to make. I think. I don't remember. I think these ones I just made with torches. Uh, the ice torches. But yeah, let's try and make some progress. Uh, armor. Our armor is good, but it could be better. This is armor called the triad armor. Which would mean I'd have to make these uh, lesser energy amalgates. Amalgates? I think it's, it's amalgate. Uh, which requires me to have multiple souls. As in soul of fright, soul of sight, soul of might, and these souls. I have a lot of these three. And I also have souls of might. But we need sight and we need fright. So you know what that means. It's mech boss time. I know there's a lot of other bosses we still haven't killed. But it's mech, bass, mech boss time. Uh, if you also see I'm using the Omni Lure because of a certain problem with this fishing pole. If I use the uh if I use multiple lures, the uh this just, what is it called? Uncle Kari's fishing pole just doesn't work. It doesn't work the way it's supposed to. So uh, let's not use that. But let me think here. I think the next easiest boss would be Mechanical Skull. It don't matter. Just make both anyways. Because we're going to fight both. Look how many souls of light. Oh my god. We're chilling on that. You guys may be like, how'd you get all that? Did you spawn it in with cheat cheat, you fucking cheater? No, I, uh, what are they called? They're called soul crates. And I fished up a bunch of them. But that's how I got them. That's it, soul crates crazy right judith is a steampunker hey judith you're a kind woman i don't know see it's nice to compliment people like that 
But uh, Judith, I need to buy stuff from you. It's gonna be expensive stuff, but I need to buy it from you. Oh my god, these wings are not bad. They got me pretty high up. Okay, hold up. I think I need the blendomatic, but priorities first. This. What is that? Auto tuner. Interesting. I low key want to play through the bard again. Maybe I'll do. Ooh, maybe a live stream series once I actually finish the yo yo character. What you guys think? Put in the comments. What y'all think? That might be that might be the move. Finish that yo yo character and then we do a bard character. Ooh. Cause the only way I see myself ever playing the bard again is that or going back to Casminicus. Uh just to show it off. And that's boring. Casminicus is over, man. He's been over for a while. You know, he had the the little He came back every now and then, but like I think he's permanently done for now. For now. I mean, I could do a second bar playthrough. Maybe he could be born again. But do I really want to do that again? Eh. I'd rather do it on a live stream. So let me know what you guys think. After I finish the yo-yo character I was doing on the sh on the uh, live stream episodes, I might do a bard. Bro, just get over there. <laughs> get over there. I just want to break this sand block. That was a lot of work. All right, I'm going to wait till nighttime. And then we'll fight some uh, bosses. So I want to show you guys something cool. And the main reason why I have this fish gatherer down here is for this oh my look at this life is so much easier this way where is it dirt fish this is the fish we need i'm gonna get away from this ghost boy all right let's go ahead and toss this in toss it just fucking lob it at billy don't even hand it to him just throw it at him his choice if he wants to catch the fish or not all right so we're gonna fight skeletron because i think skeletron's easier in my very honest non-cheaty opinion because i am known as cheat raiders 101 how come i'm able to oh are these guys 0.5 i think it's point what is that noise you make a new noise it's not like you're making a new more a new noise i'm not catching whatever he drops again bro i gotta i gotta focus here come on we got stuff to do all right i think these uh herring herring's kind of 0.5 of a mini let's do it no fooling around Omni Lore activate. God damn it. I hit the wrong part of him. Get him in the face. God damn it. Alright, you know what? Forget it. Just throw just start shooting. You know, do, mul do multiple uh, hits of damage. Might as well. Actually, let's do this. We're just gonna stack a bunch of damage, alright? We're just gonna throw a bunch of these guys at him. And then next time he spins, we're gonna get in there and get our hook on him. Boop! Alright, we should be good now. We should be able to just cruise. Get on the crab and just start cruising. I think what I gotta do is kinda like, you know, speed up. Speed up the gameplay here. So, I, I don't I don't wanna do any audio editing though. So, I'm just gonna be really quiet and I'm just gonna speed up the footage. But keep the audio the same. Go, do it now. Gamer, shut up. All right, we're coming back to the end of the fight. I don't know why I said that. We're coming to the end of the fight. Boom, bada, bing, light work. Hopefully that'll be easy to edit. All right, let's try and do the twins now. I don't know how easy or how hard this will be. We're about to see because we kind of got to kill two bosses now. But their health is lower, I think. I don't know. Bro, come on. Making this hard. All right, there you go. We should be good, though. Twins are also easy. But honestly, my, my like ranking system, all the mech bosses are pretty easy given you have decent enough gear to take them on even then even if you have some weaker gear voice crack uh they could be a little tough but definitely not impossible you can kill them with a short sword if you really put in the work but uh i put the twins as the hardest i just feel like you're finding two bosses at once pretty much even though their pattern is really slow this guy right here spasmatism it's like the main reason why I think the twins are the hardest. He's got one of the strongest attacks. Not like uh, mechanically the strongest attack. I think he's got one of the hardest hitting. No, nah, he's mechanically his attack is pretty damn good too. Like that's a you st if you get stuck in that you fucking dead, bro. You gotta outrun it too. But you know what I'm talking about. I, I just think he's the hardest. That curse flame attack really strong. 
Uh, and that's why I put twins as number one on my top three hardest map bosses. I'm gonna put Skeletron at number three. Skeletron or Skeletron Prime can hit hard, but bro, <laughs> have y'all seen him? He's just a floating skull. I guess this guy, these guys are just floating eyeballs, but he's just a skull that like spins. He doesn't even spin at you; he just spins. Come on, at least these guys dash at you. He like kind of levitates towards you, but he just kind of spins. Y'all ever watch that boy? I ain't putting no respect on his name. Hold up, let's let's get some of these guys in. No, let's just kill him with a different weapon. I kind of just commentated through this. I was supposed to like speed it up. It don't matter. What's stronger, this or the Larpoon? I don't know. We're about to see. Larpoon, I feel like he's really strong. A little bit, a little bit more inaccurate, but. I feel like it's really strong. There we go. We did all the bosses. Might as well do uh, what's his face one more time. Just for the one time, man. Come on, for the one time. You know who I fought during the stream? I fought uh, the Borean Strider. So if you guys want to watch me take on the Borean Strider, there you go. Wait for that. Wait for that stream footage to come out. Just wait for it. All right, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight the Destroyer just because. Why not? That's why. Let's get a bunch of these things on him. And let's just let's just un unleash. Hopefully we can kill him. Quick enough. I just noticed both of the Oh my god. Uh what is it called? What the fuck are their names? The twins? Get them in the head. Oh, don't get hit in the head though. Ow. That's that's not good damage, bro. That's really bad damage. Just look how like disadvantaged we are now. Alright, um, I don't remember what I was talking about. I was talking about the Prime Bros. I don't know what they're called. They're from like, from like Amazon Prime show. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck am I trying to say? The Twins. There you go. The Twins health, I think they both have like 30k health each, which makes them pretty, pretty easy. They got a second phase. None of these other bosses have second phases. I'm gonna my ass beat right now. Oh, I don't have buffs on. That's probably why. <laughs> I, did I really not have buffs on that whole time, or did they just wear out? I think they just wore out. But, uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm cut the clip here, because we already fought this boss in the uh, last episode, so uh, he'll be dead. I'll be right back. Alright, I just noticed something. It's very rare, apparently, but I heard a bunch of, like, a bunch of the destroyer getting hit by something. And I went to look at what was hitting him, and apparently, yeah, we do summon out a sand tornado, but it's very, very rare. It's very, very rare. Ooh, we did that, like, right in the nick of time. And that's N-I-C-K, not any other word that you guys are thinking of. Uh, look at that. Like, we barely beat him in time. But let's see here. Hold on to that. We're going to sell that. We're going to sell that, sell that, sell that. Hold on to that. It's kind of weird that I'm favoriting things I'm going to sell. Because that means I have to unfavor them when I sell them. It's all good. Uh, let's just open all this up first because we're gonna sell stuff from here, too. We got a hardy dragon shield Getting a ranger to take damage looking for an enemy. See, it's a shield though, and it doesn't have a dash I feel like all shield items should have dashes No, there's no dashing with this. This is a material for something else This just gets cooler and cooler Increase melee, increase knockback. You're getting in red. Still, still no dash. There's no point. There's no point in me having it because that's the only reason why you shield items is for dashes. All right, this we're gonna auto trash that. Uh, there's some armor. We'll uh, we'll sell it. Missile toes are always useful. These strange platings. I don't think I can use anything anything from them. Yeah, we're just gonna auto trash. Uh, everything else is good. I think. Yep. Go ahead. This Koopa. We got some Koopa stuff. What is this? Summons a buzzy beetle. Interesting. David's Koopa blue shell. And then we got... Hold on to that. Why not? Alright, what is this? This sounds like this would be cool if I put it on. What is it? Oh, these are wings? What? That's cool. Can be used after Plantera has been defeated. Well, I can use them now, but I'm guessing they fly you a lot farther after Plantera has been defeated. Boy, have my flesh wings always been hard? What the hell? Man, I'm broke out here, apparently. <laughs> How did I never reforge these? Uh, we're going to sell the Koopa armor, though. So let's head over there. So the goal right now is to make the triad armor. And we also just killed a bunch of bosses. So expect that in the next couple of episodes. Because I feel like 
the first couple of episodes we were going really slow in the playthrough these aren't even worth money we we're going really slow the playthrough and i want to speed up you know we're about to hit a speed bump but unless it, instead of that speed bump making us slow down we're gonna hit that bitch like a ramp buzzy charm Ooh, it's one of those guys i love those guys they're called beetles aren't they buzzy beetle yeah there you go I like that man, but you know I'm kind of under. Uh, I'm under. I'm enslaved. We're gonna. We're just gonna straight up say it. I'm enslaved right now by fishes. I got three fishes just flying around me. I got more than that. I got like five fishes. Five, 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 five. What the fuck is this? What quest is this? You heard about Moses, don't you? Then hear what I found in one old fairy tale book. They said that Moses is still returning to our world even after his life. And he is preferring desert pools. Long story short, I want you to give me this fish. It could be really hard to catch, but the roar can be great too. Hold up. This is from a mod. I can tell because the spelling is really bad. But uh, let's check this out after we make the triad armor. Can I make it straight up? I said armor really weird. Um, No, I need to make these amalgates. Wait, how many do I need? Let's count it first. We need three. No, two. Three. So five. 10. Okay, that's not that's not bad at all. Can I make them? Oh shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm not missing any. Oh, I'm missing. I don't have an adamantite forge. Wait, how do I not have an adamantite forge? Bro, I'm out here broke still. Adamantite hook. Oh, you know we gotta make all those hook accessories eventually. We're just gonna let's do this. I'm not gonna combine anything because I think we gotta wait for a certain something before we combine everything all right 10 can i make 10 oh easily oh, not easily fuck really oh so a fly okay that's not bad at all i was about to say <laughs> we'll just pop over in some more soul crates Ooh. i'm telling you guys those soul crates are clean all right i thought we were missing like bossles i'm like how am i missing bossles i just got a bunch triad armor not complete yet what am i missing oh i don't have a forbidden fragments okay and i can't make any more because i spent all my hard mode loot tokens hold up can i make some hard mode loot tokens i can't make those either all right well don't worry about it then we're gonna oh it's a pinky right here get it hit pinky <laughs> oh one shotted what the hell were we doing oh we're gonna go fish for this moses fish bro look how fast this shit is spreading <laughs> I haven't even been playing that long. All right. Uh, well, there's not really water in a desert. This is gonna be the best we're gonna get for a desert. Wait, is this even? De yeah, it is the desert over there. Fuck. Maybe I should uncorrupt it first. I don't know. Whatever. We got high fishing skill. We should be good. Oh, look. There's a sand tornado. What am I doing? Why am I using this? Activate. Wait. Come on. I know it's a small puddle, but come on. I just want to catch this Moses fish, man. It's Moses in fish form. Oh, hell yeah. We got Moses real quick. Hold up. One more time. One more time. Might as well see what else I can get, man. Ooh, we got a soul crate. What else? What else? Some good stuff here, man. I know a lot of these fish can be used for buffs. Wait, do we need old shoes? I don't know. We'll, might as well take them. Uh, we don't need that. Soul crates. Might as well open those. Might as well open whatever that is. All right. Moses fish has been achieved. What is my reward? It better be something amazing. I, amazing. I just caught Moses in fish form. Manna from heaven spelled with two ends? Bro, that's how you know it's going to be good. Uh, permanent makes you permanently well fed? What? That's amazing. All right, it's not that. I'm, over, I'm overreacting. But still, that's clean with two Ks in it. Bro. Uh, well fed. That means we don't even need to use well fed stuff. Well, I think this gives me a different buff, doesn't it? Run 4% faster for every active minion. That's a very odd. Uh, <laughs> Why do I have that? I don't know. Let's put that away. We don't really need that. But boom, bada, bing. We are permanently well fed. Shout out Alchemist NBC. I didn't even know they added that in. That's crazy. Why do I have. Oh, yeah, I remember. Every time I, I have to like store my jellyfish because every time I keep on uh, when I when I fish, 
and I catch a jellyfish, it auto makes that jellyfish like it makes it my bait. Okay, I never have jellyfish because of it. But yeah, I think we're gonna end this episode off. Wait, no, I haven't made the triad on yet. That was the main goal of this episode. Alright. We're gonna, we're gonna do that. But I think I'm gonna do it off camera because I don't I gotta edit this video. I gotta render it overnight. And I gotta upload it. Maybe I'll even render it tomorrow if I'm too lazy to edit it tonight. Be right back. So, the fucking, what's it called? Desert Spirit, like, barely spawned in. It's fine. I, I managed. Wait, hold up. How do I do this? I need to make the pirate one. And then we turn the pirate one into the regular hard mode one. There goes all my hard mode tokens. I mean, we'll gain them all back. I don't even think we're going to use that many, to be honest. But, you know, whatever. You never know when we'll need some. But, yeah, let's make this triad armor. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the next best armor. Just not. It don't matter to me. Uh, so let's see here. We have 70 defense right now. This is usually how I do it. 76. Okay, so we got six more defense. Not bad. Uh, fishing damage is 251. 269. Sweet. Love that number. And uh, set bonus. Let's see here. There's all the. Let's see all the separate stuff. Fish skill 12. Oh yeah, hold on. Let's look at our fishing skill. So fishing power is 45%. It is after we put it back. Okay. <laughs> So, set bonus adds 10% mana siphoning when hook. Siphoning? <laughs> how how convenient, right? Uh, I say how convenient because recently I've been saying words that start with S. Like, say, say like, uh, sh smacking. Like, I'm going to smack you. Like, I'm going to smack you. I've been saying words like that a lot recently. Uh, you, you notice on the, stream, on the streams. But yeah, this armor was good because of the lifesteal, but, you know, we're just trying to, we're just trying to up our armor. And uh, might as well. Mana siphoning activate. Now, I don't remember if mana siphoning was the damage or if mana siphoning was when you take damage. It goes, I'm pretty sure, is when you take the damage, it goes to your health. Yeah. Alright, that's not bad. Right? No? Okay, mana siphoning is something else then. But yeah, I'm gonna end off this episode here. You know what it is. Uncle Karius, the man, the myth, the 